all the marine reptiles in the world, the vast majority are snakes. Compared to only seven species of sea turtle, one croc, and one iguana, there's 70 species of sea snake. They're not found in the Atlantic or the Caribbean. Instead, they live in the Indo-Pacific, and Australia is right in the middle. Here in Melbourne, the water's way too cold for them, but when I went diving in the Ningaloo Reef in Western Australia, I found myself in sea snake heaven. Snakes are the most recently evolved reptiles, and sea snakes are the newest snakes. There are two main groups. The sea crates are distinguishable by their banded color pattern and still come on land to lay eggs and digest prey. The rest are true sea snakes who give birth to live young and live their entire lives at sea. Both groups evolved from Australian land snakes. They're cousins to the brown snake, taipan, and death adder. Most sea snakes are usually quite docile but a few can be very aggressive, and they're all deadly. Since they still breathe air, they evolved valves to close their nostrils, and a larger lung, partially for air storage and partially for buoyancy. They return to the surface to breathe every one or two hours, but they can also absorb up to 25% of their oxygen directly through their skin which comes in handy when diving down to 90 meters. Because olfaction is easier underwater, they only need to extend the very tips of their forked tongue. They then use their potent venom to immobilize fish, eels, crustaceans, and octopus. Their bodies are keeled with a flattened tail like a paddle. For true sea snakes, their belly scales have diminished so much that they can't move well on land anymore. Sea snakes also shed their skin more often, about every two weeks, to remove algae, barnacles, and parasites. Amazingly, the olive sea snake has special photoreceptive cells in its tail to detect light. That way, they can tell if their entire body is out of sight when hiding in the reef. I've always loved snakes and the ocean, so getting to swim with these stunning creatures that combine my two favorite passions was amazing. <laughs>